Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to ShortSalePowerHour.com. Kevin, Fred, Group 4610, Short Sale Power Hour. Did you like that? Wow. Are you practicing to be like that? I was on when I was at church on Sunday, they had these little kids up on stage doing like a little like a little production thing and you know, it was like this and it was pretty it was pretty interesting. Are you trying out for next year's No, I, I think I was too big. I don't think the t shirts would fit me that they were wearing. I bet Pastor Tom would let you in. He might. Hey, it's Mindset Monday and we're gonna talk about focus today, what we have not been for the last thirty seconds. So Yeah. Hey, it's um November twenty eighth. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and um, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but there's four weeks till Christmas, also known as a week until everybody um, leaves real estate till January 15th, or maybe after the Super Bowl. I don't know. When do, they, when do they come back? I don't even. When do, when do those people come back? I don't know. I don't know. So hey, no. I uh, want to challenge you today. Um, we've just finished up a big series on the six big lies, and. I think that, I mean, we could talk forever on, on all those lies, you know, yeah. big is bad and, and unbalanced life and, and all this stuff, willpower. Um, but I think focus is really important, especially as we get in the last half of the year, because I have two challenges for you today. Number one is, what are you focused on between now and the end of the year? Have you forgotten your 2011 goals? Have you already left the focus of what you're intending to do in 2011 and you're already dreaming and thinking about next year? Or are you so focused on today and hitting your goals that you haven't even put any time, thought, energy, or focus on what you're going to accomplish next year? And there, there is absolutely a counterbalance in those two. Yeah, absolutely. So the, on one hand, you got, hey, like don't forget to dream about next year. Not just dream. In fact, if you if you watched last week's big. video, if you, if you read the email I sent you a week ago, yeah. we talked about thinking so freaking big that it just blows your own mind, right? That just really think big. Have you done that, but you're not even paying attention to this year because you still there's still a whole month left in this in this year. Yeah. In fact, we we may have our best closing month of 2011 in December. Yeah, we likely are. Things are getting set up right now that December will end up being our best month. So by by no means have we forgotten about 2011 just because we've already planned for 2012. And I think it's important just as you're planning for 2012 and you you got this plan and you're going to hit it hard starting January, hopefully second at the latest, that you're gonna just hit it hard and you're gonna go after it, that you haven't forgotten about the plan you did 12 months ago for 2011 to get you to your goals, your hopes, and your dreams for 2011. Because when you make a plan, all, again, what you're doing is you're committing to fall into doing certain steps, certain tasks in order to get the goals that you're going after. So guys, you can't, it's not an 11 month plan. Like you don't just do a 90% plan. You go, you go the whole 100%. So yes, Schedule some time for 2012. I hope you've actually already done that. I know we started working on it in October, but so I hope you've done that. But I really want to caution you not to lose sight on 2011. Well, in fact, one of the to go. one of the best things you can do for your business in 2012 is work your tail off over the remaining part of 2011. Yes. Like we know, this is a is a business that that takes time. From the time we take a listing until the time we close it, whether it's an equity listing or it's a short sale, it doesn't matter. It's a couple month process to a half a year or more, right? Yeah. And it's the same thing with a buyer. You meet a buyer today. How quickly does that buyer really go under contract and close on their home? It's usually not in 30 days. So the idea is what you're doing in 2011 over this last part is actually setting you up for a great 2012. So. Finish strong would be the focus of, the, of yeah. the message today. Focus and finish strong on this year, but also set aside at least a half a day here coming up in December to focus on what your goals are for next year. You want to know where you're going as well. That's super important. Absolutely. So, I mean, I, I can't say that enough, guys. Just make sure you're setting big, big goals and make sure you're not losing sight of the goals you've already set. Yep, absolutely. Hey, thanks for joining us. We look forward to seeing you back here on Wednesday. Um, I think we got two really great episodes coming up on Wednesday and Friday. You probably don't want to miss them. We'll probably be a little rowdier than we are in this video. So uh, make sure you come on back for that. We'll see you later. One, two, three. Short sale power hour. Short sale power hour. Crush it.